Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hardline Captain Albert Sapucha and we're still on the beach, still showing the teach a man to fish, you know, but not the reality of shark fishing. The ups and the downs. You know, when we catch and when we get cut off and all the work that it does take to make these great catches happen. You know, sometimes it's the road less, the road less traveled by, guys. It really isn't for the faint of heart. And right now, everybody has taken a vote you know and for us it was whatever the uh, winners wanted to do whether they wanted to keep trying it out or did they want to go and uh, call it a night and they were willing to put forth the effort to get the bait rig retie everything because that was the thing through this whole process i've been teaching them how to tie the knots how to get the leaders together you know put on the weights put on the leaders the drops rigging bait and the different styles and techniques I use to hook the baits and everything else that we're doing. And so they were willing to put forth the extra effort. Like I said, we all just got cut off, literally. We got one rod in the water and, or no, we all got taken out. There's nothing in the water right now. And so they were willing to, you know, use up the last bit of leaders we had because that was the other thing too. Oh man. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright guys, so with everything going on We also made a judgment call too That we noticed that a lot of the baits were getting cut off At about the five to 600 yard range And so we decided to go right up in there And drop our baits in that area On the hopes that we would get Um our catches right there because that's where they mostly been getting cut off at because all the other baits when we dropped them off ranged from you know 500 000, 1500 you know up to 2000 yards out because we had the jet ski we noticed that those distances we were getting cut out was about the same meaning every time we cranked in <clears throat> that's about how much line we got back so we know in prior videos that the braid doesn't even touch the sandbars look at this it looks so delicious y'all gonna hate me for this one but i'm gonna tell you hold on sir oh, oh it smells so Flavor good with the two best right there oh uh, twang and the the chili. What, the uh chili what what was the other one chili lime and mango chili, chili lime and mango oh my Look at that. We got that going. We got our pot with corn and potatoes going. Oh, it's going to be sick. We are re-rigging. Guys wanted to give it one more shot. So literally, this is my last six liters I got in the in my bin, literally. <laughs> so we're going to re-rig up, get baits out, and see what happens. So Stay tuned, guys. This is turning out to be a unforgettable night <laughs> even at 500 yards out at 600 yards out it still shouldn't even be touching the the sandbars because at 400 yards the the um, braid was only a few inches at 500 it was maybe a foot or two and even if it drastically dropped down you know it wouldn't drop down 10 to 12 feet immediately it's just too much of an angle so we know it's not the sandbars cutting it off. And the other thing too, as you saw in the videos, the rods would bow over and then they would get cut off. So it's a big tall tail sign that we're paying attention to that the uh, fish were that close up and going through a feeding. So we decided to drop our baits there. And that's also too something we are also gonna run into another problem. So stay tuned on that. What is it? Hey, can you Let turn you know. that light down this way? Yeah, down, like all the way down. There you go. Talk about learning how to use your angles on this thing. Yo, I'm liking this little holder, bro. Six dollar holder, all I gotta do is use this portion to angle down, angle up.
buy something. Yeah, no, uh, uh Kiki already had them. Oh. Uh, Kiki.
Hey, bring, bring that knife over here. I'm going to show you on my truck. Hey, have y'all ever seen sharpen the knife for using your window? Pretty dull knife here. Sharp, but it's a lot better. No, look, it just cut me. Uh, <laughs> no, no, really, no, really. I felt it. It's, it's, whew, that's nice. It just find rough, takes off the rough edge. Yeah, you can't have a jagged edge or all nicked up and everything. It, since it already had a uh, an edge on it, we're just, we're just cleaning it up and stuff like that. Wow. So, yeah, that is cool. Thank you. Open them up. Next to 
They got weights so that way because they're they're attaching the leaders or attaching the hook yeah baits to the leader oh you put them on the slide on the snap swivel you can check out the way they're doing it over there see the leaders that are already hooked up yeah
Yeah, I'm already almost empty. <laughs> Kill it. Yep. I'm still going under. Oh, yeah.